Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Lucas and this is the Lucas Yarns YouTube channel where we talk about all things yarn and yarn crafts. How are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. Me, myself, I am currently on a very long uh, vacation from work. <laughs> and to be honest, I've taken a few days break away from yarn um, as, as part of that, as a part of celebration of my 40th birthday. Uh, but... That's not why we're here today. We're here today because I want to start uh, the series of discussions of patterns that I myself as a dude would want to wear. And we're, we're going to talk about larger garments for the top. So shirts, vests, ponchos, sweaters, hoodies, the larger items that might take you a little while longer to make. I want to get this video out as soon as possible. If you would, are interested in possibly making one of these for a dude in your life. I hope you are, but if you're not, that's totally cool. Uh, there will be regular update videos coming along the channel as well, so you don't have to stick around for this series if you're not interested. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, today's video, I have 13 patterns that I've chosen. Some are free, some are paid, some are available on YouTube, some are available in random places, but I do have them all, and I'm going to show them all in a bundle that's on Ravelry. I'll link the bundle in the description box below. Full disclosure, I do not get any sort of compensation from Ravelry at all. I don't get any compensation from the sale of these patterns if they are paid patterns at all. That's just not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to just easily collect all the links in one place that I can link you as opposed to having 45,000 links in the description of the video. <laughs> so um, don't be afraid to spend money, not spend money, whatever you choose to do that is entirely up to you. I'm not telling you you have to do these the projects. Just want to walk you through what I think would be best for these items. And uh, to be completely transparent, I want to make every single one of these items for myself. So uh, you might be seeing some of these uh, through we go through the series of the patterns that we're going to talk about in these videos. You might see them uh, on the channel very soon. So <laughs> don't be surprised if that's what happens. But, you know, what can we do? What can we do, friends? So I'm going to switch over to um, the desktop version of the computer. We're going to talk about the patterns um, and then we will do a quick browse through some of the projects that are already there. And we'll talk about some colors and, and things that I think might work for each of them. So let's dive in. All right. All right. So to start off our bundle of what I call tops in the makes for dudes series, we are going to show off the first item that I have bookmarked and I'm potentially going to be making for myself at a bare minimum. It is the a sweater for Pat pattern by Crystal, AKA Bag of Day Crochet. And let me tell you, friends, I absolutely love this specific pattern because I love a buttoned cardigan uh, with a deep neck, something that I can take on and off depending on what I'm doing that day, whether I want to wear it in a more formal setting or casual, etc. cetera. Um, I really, really like the colors chosen for this specific um, make right here. The yarn is linked in the pattern that's on Ravelry as well as I believe on the YouTube video that accompanies it. Yes, it's in the description right here. Uh, but talking about this one specifically, can't go wrong with the basic bare bones cardigan style type top, uh, especially one with buttons. I love that. Um, I spend most of my days in the winter in hoodies, so uh, some of this would be perfect for me. Uh, looking at the pattern itself, again, it's available on YouTube, um, so be sure to check it out if you want to do so. Um, Crystal's also got quite a few men's shirts and sweater and cardigan patterns as well, so she's a really, really great source for some of these free men's patterns that would be really suitable uh, and adaptable for any dude in your life, whatever um, that person likes or would like to have in their life. You can certainly customize that one there. So I wanted to start off with with a with a simple free pattern there. Um, definitely recommend all of Crystal's patterns, but this one specifically is part of the bundle because I would love to make this for myself. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, the, the goal is to talk about patterns specifically that I think would be great for, for, for dudes. And I, I, I love this one specifically. So there's that one, the very first one, 
Uh, and we're going to go to the second one. <clears throat> the second one is a knitting pattern. Um, it is also a free pattern available on different blog posts in various languages. Um, it is a knitted cardigan with pockets. Lots of really good texture here. Uh, me specifically, I would do this in a neutral color, such as the, the heathered gray that you see in this picture here, perhaps even a darker shade of gray, or even maybe a heathered green or a heathered blue, something that's a little bit more subdued because there's a lot of texture in this cardigan. Uh, and the texture is going to get lost if you have a yarn choice that's very loud or bright or, or variegated. Um, or if you want to make your dude one in a bright color, by all means, go ahead. Absolutely. It's whatever your dude wants specifically. Uh, but my recommendation for this one would be again, those, those neutral colors, um, just to show off the pattern that, and the texture of the knitting that you see there. Uh, this is a calls for a DK weight, uh, specifically, uh, it comes in multiple sizes here. Uh, and available in three different languages. And it is a free pattern. Can't go wrong with free patterns, my friends, um, especially when it comes to cardigans and sweaters. Uh, that is the, again, the zipped cardigan with pockets from, um, I'm not even gonna try to say the word online, but you will see the link in the, bu the bundle. Uh, go and check that one out. All right. Up next, <clears throat> excuse me, is the unisex adult raglan sleeve jacket from Peyton's. Um, th this again is a very basic staple that you can make for any of the dudes in your life. But also, if you look here at the secondary smaller version here, you can play around with some color around the yoke and have a little bit of fun there between the sleeves and the yoke there of the sweater um, and add some some color and some interesting techniques there. Uh, this is also a knitting pattern calls for worsted weight. So it's not going to take you 18 years to knit. Um, and you can make it as simple or as complicated as you would like to do, depending on what color combination you want to throw in there. Um, I wanted to showcase this one specifically because again, this is a free pattern. Um, <laughs> and you can also play around with it and they show a really good example in the pattern itself of some colorways that I would use for this project specifically. Uh, so you see the striped one here and the, uh, the, the solid color one here, definitely, definitely something that I would make for myself. And I actually, um, uh, am looking into doing so, so, you know, by all means, uh, if you would like to do this zippered raglan sleeve jacket for a dude in your life check out the pattern um you'll see a lot of these <laughs> are similar garments like this on what I'm, I'm trying to do for the the tops of this video specifically because i love a good hoodie i love a good sweater i love a good something that i can wrap up in uh without it being too super bulky or really have to be something that i'm going to worry about carrying with me such as a, a heavy duty jacket uh, so I, I really live in these types of garments in the winter. So you'll see quite a few of those in this bundle. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next up is going to be Justin's flannel by Alicia Plummer. This is a paid for pattern. It's a knitted pattern, uh, calls for Aaron weight, very, very close to worsted weight, um, as a, as a comparison. Now, while this pattern is $9 you do get quite a few different sizes here. The reason I wanted to showcase this pattern specifically is because of the texture that's on this sweater. This sweater has a lot of texture and would be really, really good for a solid color yarn. So if your dude uh, is more of the traditional uh, masculine um, neutral color individual, perfect way to show off something in your knitting techniques and your knitting uh, skills there uh, with something that's going to be interesting for you to knit, but also look really good because it's just a simple textured pattern uh, that's not going to get too boring to do. So uh, definitely recommend this one specifically. Um, really like how this is, is, is shaped around the neckline as well. Uh, some sweaters have a, a, a much different neckline, but this really mimics more of what you would see in like a t-shirt. Uh, and I, I absolutely love the way that it looks. 
color recommendations for this one i would probably do this i, I love the gray but this one would also be good for some basically any solid color that you can you can find um i i would recommend again depending on what your dude likes to have in their wardrobe grays blues blacks or the neutrals are always a good go-to but i think this one specifically you can get away with uh, if the, the dude's wardrobe would allow it, a color similar to what I'm wearing right now is a lighter green, um, a sage green, uh, perhaps even a lighter blue. Um, lots of different options there. I've also even seen this in like a yellow. Love that. Absolutely love that for me specifically. One of the reasons I love Ravelry so much is that you can go into the project section and see the different versions people have made for the people in their lives. Uh, I'm not going to click on any of them too much because none of these people agreed to be in videos for me specifically. But looking at this, that texture in the knitting shows off in whatever color you're going to do it in. So I absolutely love the texture. I love the pattern there. Uh, love the neckline specifically. Um, really think it's a great option. I really, really do. So if you like that one, check it out. Again, that is the Justin's Flannel by Alicia Plummer. Next up is Whispers by Le Garçon. Um, this is a fantastic, fantastic pattern for a basic sweater that you can also play around with the color. Again, uh, going to be one of those things where you're going to see some some color on color variations. You have two different colors of green. There's a little bit of texture in this color of the green versus more of a solid color in the one on top. Or you're going to see completely different colors for the different stripes that are in this pattern. And, and I like this one because it's not just for dudes. <laughs> it's not just going to be suitable for dudes. Uh, this this model specifically looks fantastic in this sweater. Um, looking at this, sweaters for the whole family. Why not? But you can see here the tonals and, and the, the color on color variations that you see here. It's a fantastic pattern. Um, love this red on red at, that you wouldn't necessarily see much of. But it's just a subtle hint of a variation and playing with those textures and colors there that drew my eye to this one specifically. Uh, this is a paid knitting pattern that uses DK weight yarn uh, and comes in a ton of different sizes for whatever you need to have uh, in your actual stitching needs and or wardrobe needs for the dude in your life. So again, Although the pattern looks basic and the sweater itself looks like a staple that you need to have in your wardrobe, you as the knitter, as the maker, can turn around and create something awesome that's really interesting for you to do visually, but also something that will be a wearable, usable garment um, throughout the winter months for, the, for whoever you're gifting it for. And depending on your color choices, it's not going to be something that's going to get hidden away. It's actually going to be used. So... I absolutely love that pattern. I'm going to keep it in my favorites for a while until I choose to make it. It's going to be a little while before I do that one, but I do love it. Next up is Hide and Peak by Maxim Seer, or Sire. Uh, this one is going to be for your more adventurous knitters and for the dudes in your life that don't mind color and texture because there's a lot of them out there. Um, you could pair this specifically using colors from one of his favorite ties. Um, you could pair this with a color pack from Goucher, uh, with a pre-selected color variation style. Uh, this is also a unisex pattern. You can certainly make this for anybody in your life. Looking at the dude specific though, options, uh, because of this video's intent, uh, there's a lot of color variations in play that you can have here. Uh, to achieve the different looks that you see in the pictures. Um, I love the cuffs of the sleeves and the detail there. And the striping is fantastic. I love the pattern. It is a little bit more advanced for your advanced knitters and your, your advanced skilled knitters. Uh, but it is definitely some a, a pattern that I would keep on hand because it's just a fantastic pattern, y'all. 
<laughs> it really is. It's definitely one of my favorites. I've had it in my, my, my favorites on Ravelry for quite a long time now. Now, this is one of the more expensive patterns in the list. However, however, um, if I did this, if I bought this pattern and created these sweaters, I would make multiple of them. So in my mind, the more you make of the pattern, the less it actually costs you. Um, so don't be super scared of the, the pattern cost here. Um, it is definitely something that you will get some, some mileage out of as long as you have people in your life that would enjoy them. I absolutely love this one. This one is my favorite. <laughs> this specific color version is my favorite. All right. <clears throat> Next up is In Stillness by Alicia Plummer. In Stillness 2. Um, why? Because of the texture in the chest and neckline right here. This is fantastic and will break up the knitting for what, again, appears to be a staple garment in in a wardrobe but also creates a lot of variation a lot of texture a lot of uh movement within the stitching that you wouldn't necessarily see uh in a standard quote unquote boring sweater absolutely love that again this is going to be one that you're probably going to want to make with a semi-tonal tonal or solid color yarn uh just because you want that texture to stick out Alicia Plummer is a designer that I find a lot of really, really great basic patterns for. I call them basic. They're not really, you know, for basic stitchers. But um, these are garments that are going to get some 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 use and some love through over the years um, because they they mimic those staples that everybody keeps in their wardrobe. But there's just a little bit extra, just a little bit extra. And I absolutely love this texture here. So that is why I'm showing this one. Again, that is a knitted pattern using DK weight yarn. It is a paid for pattern. Um, but I do think it would get a lot of use if you didn't have this one specifically. So next up, we have the Montrealer by Designs by Dells. This is another paid pattern, but it is for a hoodie garment with front pockets and as you can see there's lots of variations in the colorways uh, with the striping and the options that you have here uh, i'm going to look through the projects as well because this is really what sold me on this specific pattern because i was looking for a hoodie that was more of a mindless or easier to knit pattern than some of the other ones that i have seen uh but could also look really, really cool and intricate. So just for example, in this one, it's a solid color. It's super, super easy. You can make it very simple or, or friends, you could go a bit further, add in a bunch of stripes and different colors. This one specifically is what sold me on this pattern. I love this color combination and the touch of the orange around the hood and in this, this one stripe along the body chef's kiss it's just perfect it's just perfect uh <laughs> um don't be afraid to look through the patterns or the projects that are on ravelry as well uh in the top link here on the page just so you can get some more ideas of some different color variations and projects that people have completed on their own here's another great example of what you can do with some color against a neutral background um, a lot of dudes wouldn't wear that but for you ladies it's another that's basically a unisex pattern have at it. Go go right ahead, by all means. Um, but if you're looking specifically for your dudes, you're going to find a lot of colorways and color examples and ideas in these projects for your dudes. So don't be afraid to look. <laughs> Again, that pattern is the Montrealer by Designs by Dells. And that will be in the bundle link down below. Next up is the Wolfman's Pullover. This is a crochet sweater using worsted weight yarn. It is a relatively um, inexpensive pattern considering what it is. Uh, and there's also coupons. Everybody loves a good coupon. Uh, so go look through Jennifer Renaud's patterns if you want to dig through and take use of that coupon there. But looking at this sweater specifically, why did I choose it? Because of that neckline. That little interesting variation 
in the neckline is what sold this completely for me. Absolutely. This is an example of how a, a dude's garment does not have to be the standard boring to also be something that could also be a staple in his or their wardrobe. I love this one specifically, again, because of that, that neckline, uh, but also because of the texture. And if you look through the examples that folks have made over the years, here's one. Love that color. Love the red here in this one. Play around with it. Play around with it. And what else do is a variegated. A variegated is going to look fantastic with this if you're due to wear it. <laughs> or if you're making it for yourself, have at it. By all means, go right ahead. This one I fell in love with. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Lots of really interesting texture and patterning there. Um, that is definitely going to be one that I make. This is the Wolf Men's Pullover by Jennifer Renaud, also in the bundle link. Next up is the Tunisian Monotone Sweater by Piero. I think that's how that is pronounced. Um, there aren't many projects on this one specifically, but it is a free Tunisian pattern for a pullover. Can't beat that. Can't beat that all. I absolutely love how the stitches and the yarn play together to create this textured look. Um, looks a little basic, but basic is not bad. Basic is not bad. And depending on what yarn you choose, this could be a very, very interesting visual garment. Looking at the red here, I love that one. And the example here as well. Love that Tunisian stitch with the uh, the collar there. Take a look at it if you're a Tunisian crocheter. Um, this might be a really good option to stretch out your skills a little bit. Uh, but it's a free pullover pattern. Why not? Why not, friends? Next up is another hoodie from Go Handmade. This is a knitting pattern that uses worsted weight plus fingering weight held together to make an Aran weight yarn. And this gives you the opportunity to make some really, really interesting looking colorways, depending on what you choose to hold together. You could hold a solid color worsted weight yarn together with a variegated fingering weight and make a really fantastic looking garment that's going to be a little on the heavier side for those in the warmer climates. Um, and it's going to be a fantastic garment. I absolutely love this. I, I was just amazed when I found this because I want to make one. <laughs> I want to make one. And the best part, friends, it's free. It's a free pattern. Why not? Why not? This is also published on the Hobie website as well. Uh, so I'm sure some of you may have already seen this before. But look, you can go crazy with the colors. You go absolutely crazy with the colors. You can go more conservative with the colors. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that. How cool is that? Holding the solid and what appears to be the variegated together, like I was saying. Imagine a whole garment like that. Well, you don't have to imagine it. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. Uh, and I appreciate the chance to play with color in this one specifically. And have it not be quite as loud but also still look really cool and interesting as you're working on it. So that is the hoodie by Go Handmade, also published on the Hobie website. The penultimate, my friends, the uh, Vest a Torsades. I don't know how to say that. I apologize. I, I don't speak Dutch or French. Look at the texture and the cables in this sweater. I... Wish I had the skills to pull this off. <laughs> this is more of a dream make for me. Eventually, I will trust my skills enough to be able to make this garment specifically. But I absolutely love the cables and the, the texture of these stitches. It's a fantastic way to show off a, a tonal yarn as well. Choose some interesting buttons to go with it. This is a free knitting pattern for a bulky weight yarn, so it is not going to take you 45 billion years to knit it. Um, 
one of the things that I love most about it, though, friends, specifically, is that depending on what color you choose, those ribs and those cables are going to stand out greatly or or you choose a little bit of a darker color and they, 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 they're they more subdued. They're not quite as loud. They're not quite as in your face. Really just play around with it if you want to do this one. I love this one specifically because of this green color here using that specific yarn. Um, if I do it, I want it in that yarn. <laughs> not going to lie. Love the color. Love everything about this. And it's in a bulky weight. Come on. It, it, why not? Why not? And last but not least, friends, is the Sulo Cardigan by Rania Hakaledo. Hakaledo. I apologize if I'm saying they're wrong. I'm sure that I am. Uh, but this is also a free knitting pattern using DK weight yarn. Again, this one is a very classic cabled textured cardigan with some interesting things along the lapel here, uh, the braids along the side, the cable along the side, the texture in the sleeves. This looks fantastic. And if you do it in the, the, the color suggested, this cream color here, or even if you do it in like a black or a dark blue, this is going to become a staple in your dude's wardrobe if he wears these types of guard garments. I almost just said guardigans. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, this is going to become a staple in your dude's wardrobe. And for me specifically, I want to knit this one um, in the, that cream color. I mean, look at the back, y'all. Look at this. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. And it's a free pattern. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But looking at some of the examples that are in this, uh, this project page, even in a darker color, it looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. So, um, really think about what you would like to do for your dude. If you're going to do one of these patterns, this is my favorite. <laughs> this one, I saved the best for last. This is my absolute favorite of the bunch. Uh, this is going to be a, a challenge to knit whenever I get to it. Um, and it's definitely going to be something that once I complete it will be something I keep for a very, very, very long time, friends. It'll become a staple in my wardrobe. And I hope if you make it, it's a staple in your dude's wardrobe as well. Or if you're making it for yourself, hey, hey, I love you for it. Absolutely. <laughs> so that covers all of the patterns for today. The bundle will be made available in the link of the video down below. So I'm going to switch it back over to the regular face cam. So there you have it, my friends. That is the tops portion of the Makes for Dudes series. I hope you've gotten some ideas from the patterns that I'm showing you here. And if you choose to make one of them, do please let me know. I would love to see your progress. Uh, you can check out our Facebook group and share pictures of your progress and patterns there. Links in the description below. So, um, that being said, I hope you have a great stitching week and looking forward to what we all share this coming holiday season for our makes. So until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Happy stitching.